all the inhabitants fled at once after the last attack. The military told us that they would erase us. We asked why we wanted to, why they wanted to hurt us, and they answered that it was none of our business, that orders came from above. When we left the well, the soldiers circled around in front of us on foot by another way and stopped us. They were wearing khaki camouflage and hats. They stopped our donkey and went to Muna. She is 16. She ran over to me and the soldier came and said, leave the girl. But I said no. They spoke in broken Arabic. They were not from Darfur. They shot at me. Then he caught Elham to go with them, but she, was fighting, but she was fighting, so the soldiers took her stick and beat her on the leg, and she fell down. I was 25 meters away, and I could see what was happening. When the soldiers attacked her, Muna sat down and closed her legs. She fought with them, but when she got tired, that's when they started. And those are two testimonies from Darfurians in Sudan. Genocide is any of the following acts committed with the intent to destroy, in whole or in part, a national, ethnic, racial, or religious group as such, killing members of the group, causing serious bodily or mental harm to members of the group, deliberately inflicting on the group conditions of life calculated to bring about its physical destruction in whole or in part, imposing measures intended to prevent birth within the group, or forcibly transferring children to another group. That's the UN definition. After every genocide, the international community has said, never again, never again will we let this happen, every single time. And now we find ourselves in the current situation in Darfur. And I encourage you to look and search for ways that we can make those words mean something. It happened on a Thursday afternoon. I heard shots and a neighbor's child came running over, crying that her father had been killed. All the buildings and everything, they said it was their fault. They afterwards, they actually took in 200 Jewish people and imprisoned them. And the reason for their imprisonment was because of the chaos that they said they started after Kristallnacht. Which is kind of crazy. It's happening again. It's happening right now as we stand here, as we talk. 400,000 people have been killed so far. I'm from California. Hello, my name is Jake Hagelberg and I'm calling from Los Angeles. I would like to urge the president to immediately take more effective action to protect the people in Darfur at all costs. Thank you for your time. That's how easy it is. happened in 1994, and in only 100 days, more than 800,000 Tutsis were massacred and killed in an effort to ethnically cleanse Rwanda of any Tutsi population. So, like, the roots of the genocide and the roots of the, like, the hatred between these two groups of people began almost 100 years before the genocide ever took place. <laughs> And so, three million people in Darfur right now are depending on international aid to live. The basic needs, water, food, shelter. Your friends outside of school, spread the word about what's going on. Thank you. I am calling from California. Hello, my name is Sophie Rick 
and I am calling from Los Angeles. I would like to urge the President to immediately take more effective action to protect the people in Darfur. Thank you for your time. That's how easy it is.